Depart Bankstown to the north via Parramatta. You'll be clear of the Bankstown control zone once you've passed the Prospect to Potts Hill pipeline. Don't climb to 2,000 feet until you are north of the pipeline. With a runway 29 departure, you should commence this climb as soon as practicable after crossing the pipeline to avoid flying over populous areas at 1,000 feet. Remember, not above 2,000 feet until you pass the M2 motorway north of Parramatta. Parramatta CBD is an area of high-rise buildings located about one nautical mile west of Rose Hill Racecourse and easily visible from the circuit area at Bankstown. After passing Parramatta, track towards Pennant Hills. Use the many good tracking features marked on the Sydney VTC to help you to remain clear of controlled airspace. These include the M2 Pennant Hills Road intersection, the strobe light at Pennant Hills CBD, a covered reservoir at Thornley, the Sydney Adventist Hospital at Warunga, and the CBD and railway sheds at Hornsby. Make sure you don't cut the corner of the 700-foot CTA step to the east of Pennant Hills. The lane of entry in this area is a fairly narrow corridor between Sydney CTR to the east and the Richmond CTR to the west. Passing Pennant Hills, you may climb to not above 2,500 feet, and from here, your track northbound will take you over Hornsby and along the eastern side of the F3 freeway to Patonga. Keep a good lookout at all times. Traffic inbound to Bankstown will be heading south down the lane to your left, on the western side of the F3 freeway. If you are tracking for the coast, once you reach Hornsby, turn east and track towards the coast. The Baha'i Temple is a useful ground feature to keep you well clear of the 700-foot and 1,000-foot control area steps that extend north of Sydney, between Pennant Hills and the coast. Once at the coast, you can track to Longreef to commence a Victor 1 or Harbour scenic flight.